Hey everybody, Tom here as we continue to catch up on my uh, exploits across Tokyo and the rest of Japan. Uh, this is a little side trip I took in April to visit the 53rd Bunkyo Azalea Festival at the Mizu Shrine. Uh, one of my friends sent me this um, from the an account I now follow, the Tokyo Weekender, by the way, is a great account if you're coming to Japan that keeps up on uh, events and such going on. Um, but we'd have to leave our home near the Tokyo Disney Resort and go on a bit of an adventure. Um, and so I wanted to make a day of it, so I knew I was going to go to this shrine, start there, and then um, I, I had been looking at a number of very touristy, clickbaity articles of things to do in Tokyo, um, and I tried to find some things that were in the vicinity uh, of this shrine, and I saw Gachapon Department Store. Now, beyond seeing Gachapon Department Store, I did no other research. All I had was the location. I didn't look at what else was there. I did no research, and so it, it so happens... Um, this Gachapon department store is in one of the most interesting places um, for my fellow nerds out there to visit in Tokyo. And so um, hopefully you'll enjoy all the discoveries um, I make when I get there. Because again, I didn't even know what I was getting into. And um, probably stupid for not knowing about it and somehow never visiting it all this time and all these trips to Japan. But um, I hope you enjoy uh, my journey. If you think lines at Disney are bad, they're certainly bad at any tourist attraction. We're way back. It's going to be a while. Yeah, 
I wish I was joking, but there's Japanese twisted tater. It's a thing. So about after an hour of Azalea Festival, I decided that was enough. It's more than enough time to look at them and walk around and take pretty photos. Um, it was then on to a next stop, which I just knew was Gachapon Department Store. That's all I knew. I had an address and I had no other information. It didn't even say it was in this mall. So shame on these giant mega clickbait websites that don't even tell you exactly what you're getting into. Um, but eventually I located it inside of the Sunshine City Shopping Mall in Toshima, Tokyo. Um, which I probably, again, should have known about before, but uh, you'll see everything that's inside in just a few moments after we buy some gachapon. This is absolutely that fig drink that they sell in the Germany Pavilion at Epcot. There's gachapon of it, like little bottles. Might need one. Oh, there's Kirby pouches and little Kirby toys, including Kirby in the bathtub. Thomas the Tank Engine. There's a lot of different ones actually for Thomas. There are a lot of Disney ones. There's Yummy Pixar Mascot. There's these cute figurines with the book. Sleepy Little Mermaid characters. My God, remember a Foofy? I guess they're still a thing here. Even though Disney Store doesn't even have them here anymore. Characters, looks like they wag maybe? I don't know what they do. Maybe they don't do anything. That's not Disney. These are Disney. More of Fufi. Two characters. Monsters Inc. Disney princesses in a anime style. And then they really went all in on Lightyear. They thought Lightyear was going to be a huge hit. Oh my god, the Rocketeer. I know what I'm getting. hard to do with one hand. What did we get? I don't even know. Let's go look. So the first one is just like a little art stand. It's plastic. You make like a little standy display, which is really cute. For the second one, we got the full-blown Rocketeer. You have to put them together. I'll put them together when we get home and I'll show you. Oh my god, Ultraman. I don't know. We were the first generation exposed to a lot of this Stuff, right? Even if you like something as silly as Pringles, you can find Pringles gotcha palm. Oh my god, it's the corn snacks from the Food and Wine Festival. You know Bugles? I found Bugles gotcha palm. Cat hugging giant fish pastries. You can find something for anyone. Literally, there's like tackle slash toolboxes. Little grill boxes, food, any anything you can imagine. The Japanese detergent I use at home has gotcha on it. Oh my god, there's Care Bear pouches. Can't, you can't make this up. The baby, the baby face son has a bag. get Star Wars movie posters. The Japanese ones are really cool. I found more Disney. Pixar hide and seek. Toy Story hide and seek. Some things I cannot identify. Villains bags. Pixar road signs. <laughs> Are pretty crazy. You can even get pieces of a Gashapon machine.
I got Jake a weird stitch thing to open from this robot vending machine. Stitch in love. See what he gets. So yeah, Jake was like, oh, we'll pretend I ripped it. No, Jake, everyone knows how we are. So we we didn't use the tab. We we decided to gently open it so he can keep the box intact, which I understand. But I'm, I'm dying to know which one you got. There's a lot in this set. Okay. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, I think it's oh, Angel. I see Kate. Angel. It is. Oh, she's in a little wagon. Aww. How cute. It's very cute. Some thank you so much. Kawaii, nice. as they would say. <laughs> there you go. Jack and the donuts, I certainly hope not. This fountain or mister appears to be interacting with this giant film in the middle of the mall. God, what have I stumbled upon? Oh my God, look at the merchandise. Yeah, so we're, we're stopping here right now. Also the garbage is, the garbage Pokemon is the garbage bin. This is amazing. It's kind of ridiculous. We're very post-COVID and they're still not letting people dine in the cafe. I mean, every other restaurant in Japan is, so it's weird. They just have a big open, like what would be an area to enjoy drinks, but you can't actually. So I just stepped outside with my Pikachu waffle. There we go. Love the new iOS. Got my Pikachu waffle. It's a waffle shaped like his head with icing and chocolate. And it's very, very cute. Of course it's going to rain now, so I'm going to eat this quickly. It's like a big stale waffle. It's real chalky, but I don't care, at least my latte is cute. There is a whole ass Pokemon Go lab in this mall. 
then next door to this, there is a place where people are playing the card game. Look at this. This is Pokemon heaven in this mall, man. Yeah, this is like the smallest of the Pokemon centers. There's a very small store attached as well, but it's very small compared to the other ones I've been to. Never mind, there's a full Pokemon Center across the way. It's just, this almost half of this floor is just Pokemon. This is wonderful. They have Easter stuff. If I was gonna live here permanently, this would be my bathroom. This is, I love it, it's so cute. I love that it's a mix of a couple characters. It's adorable. First of all, they gave me tissues. I don't know, but there's coin machines and gotcha ponds, which if you know me, this is my bread and butter, so we're gonna stop here for a second. These are my boys, the OG. This is all I know. Mm, Cafe Miami Garden. Buongiorno from Miami. It seems inhumane. Every time I'm ready to leave this mall, I find something else to visit. This is the coolest mall in Japan. There is a place where for your birthday, I mean, I guess you can go whenever you could say it's your birthday. Um, you could visit cats. You can visit and play with cats. This is... This is a magical mall. Look at him. He's in the mall. This place is wild too, so there's so many... crane games, but then the whole other side is Gashapon. There's also a store in the middle with like all sorts of anime statues and memorabilia. There's card game stuff. There's literally anything, anything you could possibly want in this store. There might be more Gachapon up here in the Namco thing, Bandai Namco store than there was downstairs, honestly. This is, this is, it, it's at least the same amount, if not more. Probably about the same size. You can try to collect an entire Shinkansen train. It's so many pieces. I bet you could just buy the whole set somewhere, but this seems fun. All right, so there's actually definitely more here because if you cross to this room, there's a whole nother giant room. There's double, there's like double the machines up here. I need to take a look and see how much is different. You can get a really tiny and inexpensive and travel sized game of Uno, which is, this is such a cool idea. Found the more Disney ones though. There's chocolate selection. This is the second series, so they're villains if they were like Godiva 
high-end chocolate pieces. <laughs> Pretty crazy. There's a wish. There's wish stuff. I'm trying not to get bumped into. I'm trying my best. Villains. Onward. Villains bags for Halloween. The poncho ones again. There's some repeats, but some stuff is different. To promote recycling, they asked that you put your capsule in there and then you can turn this giant crank. I found where the cats are. And, you know, it's not that weird. The cat, I'm sure this existed in Japan first and then evolved into cat cafes in America. Although I don't know if they're promoting adoption here or this is just like pay to play with them. Very cute though. There's a Sanrio store, but more importantly, there's a Disney store, but I'm expecting disappointment. I didn't know they built the new style ones here in this country at all. So this is going to be less cute than a majority of them are in this country. This is going to be the Imagination Park design, which will have some Tokyo landmarks in it. But otherwise will be a lot like a lot of those newer stores we had in the U.S. But with the Japan merchandise, though, the Tsum Tsums are still alive. They're holding on in Japan. He is everywhere. I don't know what these are. I thought they were foofy at first and they're not, but they just came out with Tangled. They're very, very cute though. But they have, there's a ton of them. Nana messaged me and she goes, I don't know what this is, but I want it. And I didn't think I was going to a Disney store today. And then I did. So they're wristband towns. I don't. Get, I guess it's like a. It's like a sweat band for your wrist, right? I think that's what they are. But I'm getting some for other people. But she specifically asked for mochi, so she's getting mochi. So not only is there all the stuff we showed, there is an aquarium in here. There's a planetarium. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to see here. Um, I mean, aquariums and planetariums you can see at home, but. Um, the, like, there's a concentration of nerdy, cool Japanese IP stores, uh, intellectual property for those that don't know what that means, um, here. So that, and you could spend hours in the Gacha Pond store. Um, if you're a Pokemon person, you'll spend hours. I just noticed something. Oh my God! The lights above the escalator are Pokeballs going up to that floor. Unreal. And then people yell at me when Disney does Disney and Universal don't go the extra mile, and I complain. Come, come to a mall in Japan and see the theming on the Pokemon floor of the mall. Um, this was cool. This is the Sunshine City is the name of the mall. Highly recommend if you're into this kind of stuff. There is a whole Sesame Street. Story. With a cafe. Everything here has a cafe. That's just a very Japanese thing. How cute. Here's some of the stuff you can get at the cafe. It's pretty tame for here, honestly. Like the donuts are cute, but it's nothing crazy. There are a lot of cafes that go really above and beyond just decorations on the Sundays. I, I love that this exists, but, you know, between U USJ and here, it's like Snuffleupagus does not exist. And I know, make your jokes about him being Big Bird's imaginary friend, but that's my favorite character, and he's just missing. I was leaving, and then I found more crazy stuff. There's, like, a Thomas the Tank Engine store. I think they're closed. No, they're just very slow, I'm surprised. Look at, they made him kawaii. They made him cute in Japanese. They changed his face. But there was another sign I saw, which is why I came back in. So I saw a sign for Toys R Us, but I think they, you know, in other countries, they're still open. I know in Canada and France, I've seen them. So I figured, well, we have a couple in America, but they're like the relaunched 
rebranded versions, but I figured in other countries you could find them, and I saw the signs. I was like, maybe they're still open. Hold on. There's another sign. Let's see. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose it. I think it's here. For those of you that don't know, every Saturday, me and my father went to Toys R Us. That was kind of our thing. That ended up being my first job. I got a Christmas season job. I worked in the R Zone at a Toys R Us. Oh, my God. It's absolutely Toys R Us. Lower ceiling, but it's Toys R Us. In every way, it's Toys R Us. It just feels... It, it, so many things in Japan feel different. This is one of those things that feels... Again, other than the ceiling being lower, the racks, the displays, everything is the same as I remember. I hate to be that guy getting emotional about a toy store, but the moment that did it was seeing the remake of the 1993 Red T-Rex. I mean, that's not what the package looked like, by the way. I will never forget picking that up in the store, that big box, but... He's at least the right color, which is that wrong red they made him originally. God, that brings back a lot of memories. Guys, the, the registers are the same. They're the, the crappy, cheap wood registers with the rubber runner. And even these. Sorry about the lighting, but it's, it's still alive. walk home from my Hama station. I was hoping I'd be a little further along, but then it was raining and I'm like, they're not going to run fireworks anyway. Uh, they're running. It's a very short show, so I don't know that I can make it to the bridge over the highway in time. You can try. I'm going to keep walking and we'll see what happens, but this might be all we get to see tonight. A little bit better view here. I'm up against the highway though. Feels kind of dangerous, but you can see fire. I was not fast enough. There, it's like a five or six minute show. It's the worst fireworks show in any Disney park in the world. Honestly, um, it's just fireworks for the sake of fireworks. There's there's very strict limits here, as you can tell. They're in a major city, so. Similar to Paris, there's a lot of regulations, I think more so here than even Paris, which is why it's such a big deal when they do those projection shows at Tokyo Disneyland, because it's kind of the full nighttime show. If you haven't watched it, celebrate Tokyo Disneyland, which was done only for a few months for the 35th anniversary, we have it here on the channel, is my favorite nighttime show ever. It's pure park nostalgia. If you grew up going to Magic Kingdom, a lot of the park is the same, so... A lot of the segments I think will speak to you, so I'd give that a watch in lieu of me showing you fireworks for six minutes from above a highway. As always, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked uh, what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe for more great content. And if you want to support us financially, you could do so uh, through the Wigs program at patreon.com slash WDWNT. You could also buy great merchandise from Carousel Products at shop. .wdwnt.com. Don't miss out on our Tower of Terror 30th anniversary button up. Uh, they are selling out fast. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.